It's intense with our schedule and the music is demanding, but it's really rewarding. We get to work with some really awesome professionals and that's a really cool experience. And it gives you such an exponential way to grow. And the Eastern Music Festival has grown. From its early beginning in 1962 as a small, modest music camp, the EMF now brings hundreds of the best young musicians, music faculty, and professionals to the beautiful campus of Guilford College in Greensboro. Here, these aspiring students practice and perform for six intense weeks. Shelley Morgenstone, who started the festival 60 years ago, had a vision for what he wanted. He wanted a, a, a professional orchestra, and he wanted all of those professionals teaching students. Uh, the kids, the kids, that is really what it's all about. These young people come from all over the country. They come from all over the world, and they bring with them such a wealth of talent and such energy. There's so much energy in the air all the time, just, you know, being around so many people with the same passion as you. And you can just hear music wherever you go. It's amazing. I've played so much music I've never played before. I've, had, I've met so many great people. I enjoy being around students and faculty that are equally as determined to be great players. It's just a once in a lifetime thing and you're never, never really gonna be around the same people again. I think just being with like musicians that like to play and are interested and work hard, it's really rewarding. You know, you're not just colleagues with these people. We're not just part of the same orchestra. We're living together. It, we're roommates, all of us, practically, which just creates such a bond and I think it translates to our music. That bond has led to a group of over 10,000 alumni who, like today's students, have been taught the rigors and discipline required to perform at a professional level. I think it's um, a good introduction to the real working musical world because it is intense and there's a lot of time constraints. You know, here we only have, well, a couple days to learn all our new music for the next concert. We have them weekly. Uh, so it's really, um, a good way to learn what the real professional world is like and how to manage that with your time. Um, I've been given a lot of great opportunities um, playing very difficult pieces and when I first get them I'm like how can I do this but you know after a week of working and trying really hard it's you know I've risen to the challenge and it's awesome. I've never had to get you know like a program ready that quickly um, but they're preparing us to be professionals, so. And I always say my favorite part of the day is watching the kids, uh, just the, the light bulbs go off, just to see that moment when it's in a rehearsal or it's in a performance and everything clicks and you know they met as strangers and they suddenly are performing as an ensemble and it, it's magic, it's magic. But the intense rehearsals are coupled with fellowship and friendships made, as a visit to the dining hall reveals. From shared meals to shared practices, life on the campus at Guilford brings its own rewards. I've, had, I've met so many great people. Um, you know, I've just, my um, ability as a player has just been greatly like expanded on and I just, I, I love it here. The late afternoon summer sun seems to bathe Guilford College in a magical light as the students prepare for the evening concert. Tonight's performance is a symphony by Dvorak. Our concerts are what one would consider casual. In other words, you don't have to get dressed up to come. There are no airs. Our hall, uh, Dana Auditorium here in the Guilford College campus, one of the best acoustical halls in the country but it's not, can I say, fancy. It's a, a down-home, wonderful place to hear great music. And we're so thrilled to be here uh, at Guilford College. And it, it's, it has become a destination place. I'm extremely looking forward to performing the Dvorak tonight. And um, we've worked so hard on it. And I'm really excited for everybody to hear the beauty of it. And that beauty can be heard in performances large and small at the Eastern Music Festival. The Eastern Music Festival runs June 25th 
through July 30th, 2022 on the campus of Guilford College in Greensboro. For tickets and more information, go to easternmusicfestival.org.